Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kum Yasha'ala, Koholo, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rechachodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to just touch on, like, um, just wicked niggas, man. And, and these wicked niggas have no idea as to what's to come, man. And that, you know, that goes out for the, for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which your true nationality is. You're Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. You're not blacks. You're not Hispanics. You're not, you know, Native Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Hondurans, Latinos, Colombians, Mexicans, and all these by words that the so-called white man gave you when they enslaved you. Your real biblical nationality is your Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. And the reason why we're in the lowest state of all these nations and that you have to depend upon them for everything the thing that you need is because the Lord placed us in this situation for not listening. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it, and it's about to get real, real bad for a lot of our people. And I'm praying to Yahweh about Shemia was shot that I'm not a part of that. That's why we pray that Yahweh would not blow out our candlestick or remove his Holy Spirit from us, you know, according to um, Psalms chapter 51. But I wanted to go off into, let's go to um, basically the basis of this um, particular lesson was I was reading through the book of Proverbs chapter 3. Let's go into it real quick. And, and right at the very end um, is where, you know, the Spirit was dealing with me to kind of do this lesson right here okay so now let's go to um proverbs we're gonna just get from 31 down to 35 real quick lesson but i'm gonna get precepts for basically each one of these um particular verses now this is um proverbs 3 and 31 envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways now in the nlt over here it says don't envy violent people or copy their ways who is this talking about the so-called white man he is your oppressor. Why are you trying to be like him? Why are you trying to do what he does? Why are you trying to copy the Joneses, so to speak? Everything that Esau, the so-called white man, does, you feel, and, and Negroes fight to go and be around these people that don't want you around them. Oh, I, I'm American. I should be able to live where I want to live. Why the fuck would you want to go and move into a, a suburban area with nothing but white people around you, so-called white people around you, and they don't want you there? How can you, why would you want to force yourself upon people that don't want you around? You see, that, that, that's, that's complete foolishness. And then you'll have these, these clowns, they'll, they'll, you know, get all on the news and get to talking about how rape, like, they're racist. Hey, motherfucker. It's, I got family members I don't want to be around. So what do you call that? I got literal biological people that I don't want to be around. And every family has that I don't want to be around, Uncle um timmy or whoever the hell it's people that don't want to be around their own brothers and sisters but here you go you want to force yourself around you're envying the the enemy you're envying your oppressor i gotta have the type of house that he has how why can he just have a, a house with the two-car garage and all that why can't i have some jet skis why can't i have an rv and go on trips to disneyland with my children a bunch of bullshit man you see what I'm saying? The scripture says, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And what do our people do, man? They choose every single way of this so-called white man. And not only do they choose it, they, they, they go hardcore and make it even more wickeder. Our people are the king of turning something, something wicked into something even more wickeder. You see? Well, let's get um, out of this. Let's get a, a precept to this particular verse right here. I'm going to grab a few out of here. Let's get um, Psalms 37 and 1. A Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why in the hell are you trying to do what the, what the wicked are doing, man? The so-called white man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That's when you go to, matter of fact, let's get Job 9 and 24 real quick. Just to just kind of prove it here. Not kind of prove it, but prove it because the scriptures is, is straightforward, man, and lets you know what's going on. 
The earth is, this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who, who is the wicked? Who runs the earth? Who, who runs the earth? Like, let's just be honest. If you had a, you know, an ABC chart, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, multiple choice. A, it was the so-called white man. And then you got B, Chinese, C, Cambodians, you know, D, Japanese. Who would you say runs the world? And if you're not saying the so-called white man, you're a damn liar, man. You're a liar. The so-called white man is the one that's running around here telling everybody what to do and what they can't do and sanctioning every damn country. That don't listen to what they say, you know, even even Russians, the, the so-called white man, the Russians, they, they're even making their moves. You don't see no other countries out here. What African country It's 54 countries in the nation of Africa? Which one of them are actually out here telling everybody what to do and sanctioning everybody? One of the biggest continents on the planet, the so-called white man even running that continent. So they're the evil that the Bible speaks of, man. They, and it says that they covered the faces of the judges thereof. What's the main judge faces they covered? First off, the father, which they call Jehovah, Allah, and God. You know, but his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. They changed his face and got him out here looking like a white guy. Got him out here looking like a hippie from Woodstock. They changed his face, knowing full well, and his son's face, the next judge, the next main judge. They changed the son. And caught, they actually gave him a whole nother name. They called him Jesus. Knowing full well his name is not Jesus. The letter J is not even in the Hebrew alphabet. Neither is the letter E. Neither is the letter U. Neither is the letter O. Neither is the letter V. So how is his name Jesus? The letter J is only 500 years old. If the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how is his name Jesus? Do some math. The scripture says that he's a dark, melanated man with woolly hair with a deep voice. But they give you blonde hair, blue eyed white Jesus. So they changed his face. So this is right here is a, is a perfect scripture to let you know who the wicked is. It's the seed of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And we call them so-called white because actually they're not white when you look at them. Come on, man. Now they out here in the summer trying to get some color. Turning even more pinkish to reddish than they was. That's their, that's their original color. You see, these are the people, man. But now let's go back. Let's go back to the basis of the lesson. Proverbs 3 and 31 again. I'm going to grab another precept off of that. Okay, so 31, right? Envy thou not the oppressor. This is a, a commandment from the Lord. Because bad things come when you envy these people. You know why? Because you're, emula you're actually imitating them. And by imitating them, you're actually committing abominations and crimes and wickedness. So the Lord got to deal with you. And see, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, see, the Lord told us not to do what the other nations done. That was a, that was a clear-cut commandment when we came out of the land of um, Egypt with Moses. He told us, don't do what the other nations is doing. And our people envy the other nations, and they don't want to just be Israelites. They want to be every damn body else. You see? Choose none of these ways. Now, let's go to Psalms. Let's go back to Psalms 73. And three, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And that's a lot of our people. They just like, well, damn, they get it. What do I got to do to get what they doing? You know, what do I got to, what, what do I have to do to get what they get, what they got? And that's where you get Hollywood from, Holly Weird. You got Jake, man, our people go out there and sell their souls, man, so to speak. Man, they, psh, man, full grown man out there, man. He'll bend over and speak. In, in spread eagle you know putting things in his mouth from the so-called white man <laughs> like for real man it's a lot of wickedness that our people do envying these people trying to just get that bag man you see and once you get into that lifestyle there's no turning back and that's why you see a lot of them man they be you know shades on just trying to get to their airplane they don't want to talk to nobody you see them in the interviews, they all bugged out and looking all fucked up. You see? Let's get one more. Go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. Oh, Salaki. And I'm going to go back to um, those last um, couple of verses on this, too. I just wanted to get a few precepts on 
on this particular one. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 1. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. You're not even supposed to even want to be around these motherfuckers, man. You're not even supposed to be around these motherfuckers. But what do our people do? They buy concert tickets. They, they go spend all their money on the, on the sluttiest of outfits. The, they're freshest. They're trying to get fresh. They go and, 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 and be around some wicked-ass niggas at a concert. And then they, they have to go to the after party. That even goes with your NBA games, your NFL games. Anything that's got to do with partying here, reveling, you know, a bunch of wickedness. Our people go all out to get there. All out to get there. They will call off work. They will rent a car, van, go try and get to the airport. They'll fly all the way across the whole fucking globe to try and go and see a nigga that ain't shit, man. That ain't doing nothing for their people but destroying them. See? Now let's move on. Let me get that back again, though. I'll get it in the NLT. It says, don't envy evil people or desire their company. And that's the main thing that our people do. They have to get around these wicked niggas. They don't feel like they're living unless they're around some of these wicked niggas, man. And we talking about amongst our people. Wicked niggas amongst our people. But it's people, it's, it's our people, they try and deal with the, the other nations, and tr especially the so-called white man. They got to just get around them so because they're the ones with the resources that they need to, to, to live this lifestyle and to be wicked as hell. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's the source of it. He's the source of your wickedness. He's the source of your, 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 your line of coke, your, your pill popping, your, your, your drinks, you know. It's just the whole, we have the setup. This is the way that it's done because you live in Babylon the Great. You live in America. This place is, will, just, will fucking destroy you, man. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. It's a lucky for my language, man, but hey, we, we're living in the last days. I'm trying to be bullshit, man. We're trying to get straight to the point and let you, Jake, know, hey, man, cut the bullshit out and repent. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword of destruction. See, our people have no idea that they be having fun until motherfucker come up missing and don't show up... Um, well, we last seen her yesterday. At, you know, she was getting ready to go here and go there, and we haven't seen her. And then, then two days go on a week. A week go to a month. Month go to two months. Now, as you know, somebody else raising your baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, because, because motherfuckers will do all kinds of dirty stuff to you these days. That's why it's so important that you just, man, go do your shopping. Be circumspect. Look around you. Watch your surroundings. Go and grab what you need and get the fuck back home, man. All this hanging out in the streets, two, three, four, five in the morning. See, you, what you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women are about to find out is that that's not going to be um, wise. It's a lot of people coming up missing. You better pay attention out here. You see? Okay, so now let's let's go back, though. Let's get the last um, couple of... Uh, Go back into Proverbs 3. Now let's go to verse 32. We've handled precepts to verse 31. Now let's go to verse 32. It says, for the froward. Matter of fact, let me start back at 31 because it goes together. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the froward is an abomination, is abomination to the Lord, Yahweh. But his secret is with the righteous. See? Now let's get it in the NLT over here. Don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but he offers his friendship to the godly. You see that? Now, let's get a precept to that. Let's go to Psalms. It's telling you to see forward people. Those are perverse people. It means that they're they're um, contrary to the Lord. It's like whatever the Lord says, they're like, oh, fuck that. Fuck I'm fucking Lord. I don't need no Lord. What do you mean? The Lord. I'm me. I make things happen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got people out here that's like that. And mainly it's our people. And a, and a lot of our people are going to be destroyed thinking that way. Psalms 25 and 14. I was just kicking it with the neighbor. It's just like he talking to me about somebody else. And, and, and he's not doing no better than they are. See, he understands a little bit about the politics. But I'm trying to tell him, like, man, you have no idea what the hell is about to happen. 
I keep trying to tell him because, you know, he got some younger kids. Like, bro, you need to do this. You should do this. You should do that. Nothing. Can't get nothing. Nothing. Uh, attention span of, of, of his own, of his kids, man. Can't get nothing through to him. So I just, hey, I give the warning and I keep it moving. Because when shit hit the fans, hey, look, don't feel all sorry, man, for your family members and, and your, your neighbors and motherfuckers you've been talking to all along. Because when the Lord start to show what we've been telling them, you need to be stepping the fuck back because they're going to get destroyed and you don't want to be a part of it. Ain't no time for no handouts. Ain't no time for no handouts. Ain't no time for no help because I told you. I told you. People are not going to be dipping into their stash after they've told you. Oh, man, well, you know, I I got the kids. You got you got a kid. I, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, you, you could throw me a little food. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. But hey, because but, but, we're going to be dependent upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's going to be some hungry ass niggas out here, man. I'm telling you. It's going to be some real hungry ass people out here, man. Straight up. Okay, so Lockyer. Yeah, let's go into, um, let's go back. Let's get verse 33. And it's only two more verses to that word. Going on three or whatever. Uh, Proverbs of three and 33. I had a few precepts on that one too. But as you can see though, I'm going to start back up though. It, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to the Lord. But the secret is with the, with the righteous. So the secret is with the righteous man that believe in his, in his truth man. That, that are coming into this fold. And actually believing what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is saying. And not being contrary to it. You see what I'm saying? Verse 33, the curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked. So they, they, these niggas have no idea that the Lord's curse is in their houses. <laughs> That's scary, man. You know, man, it says the curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just. That's why, man, we pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah for mercy, man, on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't want the curse of the Lord to be in your house. The average person... The curse is in their house. If they're not calling on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the curse is in their house, man. And they have no idea what this curse is about to do to them. And, they, and the crazy part about it is, a part of the curse is they don't even know that they're cursed. They actually think that they're doing well. Man, the Lord is cold, man. He, he'll set you up to make you think that you're doing well and your ass is, 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 is working yourself towards a, a downfall, man. Let's get um, precepts to this particular verse. And that's, man, that's a scary verse right there, man. The Lord is no joke. Um, Leviticus 26 and verse 14. I got like three precepts to this particular one. It says, punishment for disobedience. That's the title on this. But if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments... And if ye shall despise my statutes, and that's what a lot of these people do. They despise the Lord. They despise his word. They despise his prophets. You see? It says, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, <laughs> so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my, co my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning egg that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart and ye shall sow your seed in vain for your enemies shall eat it man look y'all better cut it out man and quit playing with the lord man zacharias um chapter 5 verse 4 and it reads i will bring it forth saith yahweh of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof man see that the house of the thief man and, 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 and most jake they're thieves they're thieves and don't even know that they're thieves man you see and, and, and it's about to come to a point they jake hustle bustle and and connive and and try and and 
if you're trying to get a deal or you're trying to get you trying to fuck somebody over all you got to do is go to jake man jake always got a hustle and it, and that hustle it's always about stealing or, or or the come up when a person is off the come up that means that they're coming up on somebody <laughs> You see what I'm saying? And a lot of the times, it'll be their own family. Or somebody that's around them that's close, their own friend, man. Some motherfuckers tell you that they down for you. They down to do this, that, and the third. Yeah, that's my man's. And in the meanwhile, this nigga scheming on your woman. This is the type of people that you're dealing with out here, man. Let me get one more, though, in this particular verse. Malachi. Two and two. And it reads, if ye will not hear, and, ye, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, say if Yahweh of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. See that? It's about to get real terrible out here for niggas, man. Niggas have no idea what's to come, and they just out here playing, lottie gagging. Niggas out here getting 4th of July outfits together, you know, just out here just chattering about the same old bullshit, not realizing what's to come, man. Now let's go back, and I got two more verses on this left, Proverbs 3 and 34. And I'm going to start back from the top at 31. We're going to read it all together so we can get some, some, some clarity here. Proverbs 3 and 31 again. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the froward, which is the wicked, is abomination to the Lord, Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Now, this is the next um, verse that I wanted to chop it, chop it up on. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace to the he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but the sh but but shame shall be. The promotion of fools. You see that? The promote. You know what a promotion is? Shame. You're being promoted. <laughs> shame. Your promotion is shame. You, you know how you get a promotion at a job? You can't wait to get that promotion. You can't wait to get it. You're like, oh, man, that's going to come with a couple of extra dollars. You know, it might come with the company car. I get a gas car. You know, um, you know, I got, now I can change shifts. I got a whole another hookup going on. I'm going to be making extra money. Your promotion is shame. But let's get some precepts on verse 34. Only got two. Let's go to the New Testament on this. James 4 and 6. And it reads, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, Yahweh resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. See that? He resisteth the proud. And see, the so-called white man is the most proudest motherfucker on the planet. But you know what? Our people are broke, downtrodden, fucked all up. Our women are all out here all fucked up. Our men are elderly. Our just in, they got a Planned Parenthood in all our neighborhoods. Oh, you name it. Drugs. Niggas shooting at each other. Drive-bys. And guess what? Niggas still proud. And the Lord hate a prideful person, man. That pride is getting you nowhere. Here you go, you don't have nothing, but you proud. And the scriptures talks about the Lord hate a person like that, man. You proud as hell, but you don't have nothing. And the last precept, let me get 1 Peter 5 and 5. And it reads, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elderly, unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. See that? For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. So you're living in a time period right now, man, where you need to be as humble as you possibly can be because our people are super proud. You see a nigga, man, he got a, a Benz or a BMW and living that raggedy ass house, but he proud as hell. He geared, though. He dressed to the T. That nigga dressed to the T. He dressed to the T. But he but 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 his but his but his his roof is caving in on his house. The kids is hungry. <laughs> you see, but when you see this nigga, he fresh to death though. You know? 
He he, he hanging out all in Miami, doing all kinds. Nigga just proud and don't have nothing. And, and, and you, Jake, y'all need to just humble on down, man, and repent to your to the Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because all that proud shit, the Lord is about to deal with you, man. And he's already dealing with our people, all these proud ass women, because that fat ass and them tits ain't gonna get you nowhere when shit hit the fans, nigga. Hey, even the simps is starting to turn their backs on on, on on you women. So y'all better get it together too. Y'all need to repent, man, and have the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's where we're at right now, man, because we're living in the last days and it's all winding down. These people are already this dude right here. Matter of fact, it was right there. This guy. It may not pop back up now, but uh, um, just right there on, on the headline of that story, it says Joe Biden was already predicting the next um, Demic Pan. <laughs> because they about to shut this bitch back down. And Jake about to be out here starving, man. Jake about to be out here hungry as hell. I was just trying to explain that to the neighbors. But nope. You think he listen? You think they want to listen? Nope. 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 They just think their life is going to go on. I just got my job back at the plant. Everything is going good. All right. Give it a moment. You'll see. But with, with, with that, I just wanted to just bring this out, man. Hey, look. That frowardness, that pride, um, envy and the oppressor. That's the main point of it. The Lord is about to deal with you, man. Y'all better get it together, man. The Lord is not about to... Hey, <laughs> the Lord is not playing no games, man. Shit is about to get real drastic out here. And it's going to get real drastic for these unbelievers, man. And, and I'm just going to kick back and watch. I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will give me that spirit of being like, don't give a fuck. Don't pray for these niggas. Don't look out for these niggas. Just stay away from them because, you know, hey, just get back. Because the Lord anger is waxing hot you don't want to be around none of these niggas man when the lord gets to terrorizing their asses all you just all you better do is just know that a hey, man's goings of you how about shimmy our side he's in control of who lives and dies he's in control of who 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 gets wounded and who who's healed and keep it at that and just thank the lord that it didn't happen to you man and keep it moving it's, it's <laughs> for real and it's gonna be some tough times because a lot of our, it's going to be a real test for us to be around our loved ones and see them getting fucked up by the Lord. So you better get that soft ass heart out of you, man. You better you better gird up your loins, because if you don't, you'll fall into the same pit that they're going to fall into straight up. You don't want to be a hey, when it came down to Moses, Aaron and them 250 um, Levites, I think it was a hey, the Lord told hey, you better get back, get moved, get back because I'm about to swallow these niggas up. Roughly paraphrasing. And so when the Lord get to swallowing up your family, hey, it may be sad, but hey, you better get the fuck back unless you want to be swallowed up with them. You better, hey, look, you got a better chance of, of trying to make it and, and your people coming back on the other side, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.